what's going on guys that's right that's right y'all know who it is y'all know who it is it's lockout men and it's time for the podcast y'all yeah yo there's a lot of news to talk about today man it's a lot to talk about today so um without further ado we about to jump right into it. We about to jump right into this, man. What's going on, guys? Lockout, man, right here coming at you with another podcast for this evening. I am so glad that you guys could join me again. Yes, sir. Yes, I have missed you. I missed you. Y'all miss me? I miss y'all too. Whoops. Sorry about that. I had to turn that back on. Sorry about that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I know you guys miss me, so... We about to we we about to talk shop today, man. Lots. Whew. Man, let me tell you something. Let me tell you guys something right quick. When choosing a carrier to drive for, just make sure that you do the exact pinpoint accuracy when it comes to doing your research. Do your research on that company to make sure that that company says what it means and says what it does. You see what I'm saying? You know, you don't want to get with a company and you find out that it's the wrong choice for you and you left another potential company that you could have got with on the table. Just saying. Just saying. Well, let's just get into it today, man. Well, look, uh, truck drivers including myself, we're hungry. We're going to be starving in this pandemic, man. I I don't know if this is because of the pandemic that that these truck stops are doing this, but Love's, one of my favorite truck stops. Now, I mean, Love's is considered one of my favorites simply because of the points. You know what I'm saying? They, They do have a good point system. They don't have much in in selection, but if you have a, you know, if you have a good number of points, you could damn near get your food for free. You know what I'm saying? You get your free showers, you get your free cups of coffee, you get your free refills. But um but you guys know that uh Loves is about to make a $100,000 donation to truckers in need. That's a good thing, right? And truckers in need of that $1,000. I hope I'm one of them. I mean, uh, $100,000. I hope I'm one of them. You know what I'm saying? But, hey, it is what it is. If I can get a hold of that little bit of money, man, oh, man, ain't no telling what I can do with that. You know what I'm saying? Especially when it comes back, when we come back, when we come back, Yes, sir. You know, when we come back outside to enjoy everything, yeah, I probably might take maybe about a hundred of that and sit at the tables. I don't know. I don't know. It's going to be a new normal for me when I go back to the tables too, man. I mean, you're going to be masked up and we're going to have gloves on and all like that and sanitizer. Yes. Plenty of sanitizer when I go back to the tables. I'm just saying. Well, if you guys are hungry, I hate to say this, but I hate to say this, but Flying J's and uh, Petros, I mean, not Petros, but Flying J's and Pilots, you guys going to have to have a, uh, you guys going to have to figure out another, another route as far as food selection goes. Now, food selection at, as truck stops is not all that hot and it's going to be not all that hotter because Denny's. You know Denny's. Denny's are are at most of the Flying J's. Not not pet. I mean, uh, not pilots as much, but they're definitely at a Flying J. If you ride down the way and you happen to see a Flying J in the in the in the distance, then you know nine times out of ten there's going to be a Denny's there. You know what I'm saying? But unfortunately, according to this article that I have found, pilot companies inform customers of Denny's closings. Now, that's the same thing that I heard about uh, IHOP's 
that was in the loves that is some that are in some location of loves they closed down too they um i i don't know why but denny's i mean not denny's but uh i hops canceled their uh canceled their contract with loves but on the flip side of that i heard through the grapevine now just through the grapevine that um Okay. I did. Hmm. This saw something funny in my in my in my thing. But anyway, sorry about that. Lost lost direction with you guys. But I'm back. But um IHOP has canceled their contracts with loves. But I heard through the grapevine that they picked up a contract with Petro. Well not Petro, but um the uh, TAs. Now, I heard through the grapevine that TAs has made a, went into negotiations and got a contract with IHOP to come in their travel centers. I don't know how that's going to work out because there was a few uh, there was a few out here that's, you know, that's still going strong. But they didn't even know. They didn't even know as far as uh, they didn't even know as far as uh as far as that they was going to get that but denny's are closing it says here that an email to trucking consumers this week david hughes senior vice president of sales informed that 22 denny's franchise locations are closing until further notice now is that because of the pandemic or is that because it's something else? It says here that we understand that drivers have access to food is the utmost importance. Yes, it is. Because without food, we can't operate. I'm just saying. We are committed to always having the, at least one food option available for drivers, no matter the time of day, Hugh says. Thank you for, I mean, thank all of you and your drivers are, wait. Thank you for all that you and your drivers are doing to keep our country moving strong at this time. Well, it's it's a shame, right? If you guys don't know the list, the list is the list is as follows: Alton, Al, Alton, Illinois, Austinburg, Ohio, Beaver Dam, Ohio, Brookville, PA, Cattisburg, Kentucky. Columbia, South Carolina, Effenburg, uh, Effingham, Illinois, Graham, North Carolina, Hattis Havistat, Indiana, Hubbard, Ohio, Kinley, North Carolina, Lancaster, Ontario, Midway. F wait, Lancaster, Ontario, Midway, Florida, Gro Oak Grove, Kentucky, Perrysburg, Ohio, Rollins, Wyoming, Smithton, PA, St. Augustine, Florida, Waddy, Cat, uh, Kentucky, Walton, Kentucky, Whiteland, Indiana, and Winchester, Virginia. So those are the locations that, that the Denny's are closed. So if you're in those locations, definitely try to get your eat on somewhere else before you go to those truck stops. I'm just saying. I'm just saying. So, next up in um <laughs> next up in the news, man, I came across this guy. Uh he I, I came across this other article. Uh this guy, Chris, he's a truck driver. He went over to a Burger King and um he only wanted a burger. You know what I'm saying? That's all he wanted. He ain't want nothing else. But a burger. That's it. Just a burger. He walked up to the window and this exchange happened. No, 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 no. When I'm a liability as a truck driver and you don't want to feed nobody. Get this Burger King right here who won't feed nobody through the. Uh, we don't allow 
of videos. No, that's stuff, okay. But I, all I'm telling you is that I'm not allowed to do that because you're a liability and we have... We so are, if I was in a car riding right up here, I'd get a hamburger. Yes. But since I'm a truck driver out here trying to work, I can't get a hamburger. So we have to follow the rules that we're told. It's above my, I, and I'm just following the rules. So this Burger King on uh, Elm Hill Pike will not serve truck drivers because we can't get in line. So we serve anybody that can come through our drive through That didn't answer my question. In, I'm in the drive through No, in a car, sir, because it's a liability. Because I don't have... All right, so it's buffering right now. You guys got to understand that my internet is always on the fritz with something good going on right now. Let me see if it'll work. I have a car and I'm a truck driver. You're you're discriminating because I'm a truck driver. Sir, there's a pandemic going on and we had to close our dining room. But if I had a car, it wouldn't be a pandemic well, problem. Sir, I don't know what to tell you. I, I'm sorry, but okay, no, no problem, dining. no problem. That's that's fine. Famous, you're famous. Okay. This sir. Burger King will not serve truck drivers. Sir. Well, there you have it. There you have it. You know this this is probably at the beginning of the pandemic. And this particular Burger King actually locked their doors. You know, this Burger King right here, let, let, me, uh, let me go back and let Chris tell you where this Burger King is at. This Burger King on Elm Hill Pike will not serve truck drivers. Because I'm not in a truck, I can't walk up in the line and get a hamburger. This is how it is now for truck drivers, guys. You ain't M Hill Park. Yeah, if you guys familiar with that Burger King right there, you might not want to. If you're a truck driver, you might not want to go over there to get something to eat. But all Chris wanted was a hamburger. That's it. That's it. Now, I can, you know, I, I, and to be honest with you, it, it kind of rattles the mind. You see what I'm saying? It kind of rattles the mind that you walk up. It's, it's a drive through window. I mean, whether if you was in a car or if you walk up to it, it's still a drive through window, right? You could walk up there and say, hey, let me get a hamburger. Here's my money. It's changed, it's, it's changed the bag and go on about my business. A liability. How is it a liability of you walking up to the window to make an order to get something to eat? I don't understand that. Would it be more of a liability being in a car? I mean, what the dude going to do? Like walk up to the window and snatch you out of the window or whatever? How, how is that a liability, y'all? I don't, I don't see it. I don't see it. I don't see the liability. All the dude wanted was a hamburger. A truck driver at that, he pointed to the truck and said, hey, let me get a hamburger and that's it that's all he wanted was a hamburger he ain't want nothing else a, a a 99 cent hamburger how long it would have took them to hand him a hamburger and he could have went on about his business the manager came up to the window and I'll link the video in the, in the description below so you guys can see it. But the manager came up to the window and he was like, well, it's a pandemic going on and we had to lock the, we had to lock the, the, the dining room area and uh, we, you know, we can't let nobody in. And, you know, if, if you were in the drive-thru, you can get something to eat. And the dude like, well, I am in the drive-thru. I'm right here trying to get something to eat. And he turned around and he's like, oh, it's a liability. How is that a liability of me coming in of getting a hamburger? Now, I've seen, you know what? I actually seen a YouTuber. Let me, you know what? Let me see if I can find that video. One minute, 37 seconds later. Now, I actually found uh one of uh one of one of one of uh one of the youtubers female truck driver you know what i'm saying she drive in a moto she went through a mcdonald's drive through in a semi who does that who does that right quick i'll link uh i'll link her video to the uh Chilky 
I'll link her video to the uh to to the uh description below. But uh her video right here, it got, you know, she don't do like the video video. It's like it's like picture in picture. So she actually went through the uh drive through in a semi. It's crazy. Hold on, check it out. Check it out. Y'all see that? She's in the semi in the drive-thru. Right there. Brown eyed trucker. You go, girl. You let them know what's up. She's in the drive-thru in the semi. <laughs> so she got out and the and the guy, the guy, as she she hold on, right, right quick. Hold on. She said the employee didn't see a car, so they didn't come to the window. He got out to let them know that we was the, you know, was the fourth order. In the semi. In the semi. You go, girl. You go, girl. You tell them what's up. So they kind of hesitated. She said once the lady come to the window, she didn't want to give service. Because, and look at the expression. Look, look at the expression on her face right quick. Hold on right quick. Look at her expression like, Really? You came through the drive-thru in the semi? Yeah, man. I'm hungry. I'm hungry. You guys can see the rest of that video. I'll link the I'll link the uh, descri- uh the video in the description below. But but yeah, back to back to my man's though. A liability though? How is that a liability, man? So the video, of course, you know, he posted it on his Facebook page. And um it got it got some traction, so much so that Burger King, the well, the owner of Burger King, um, the owner of Burger King, New York-based Carol's Restaurant Group (CRG), I mean CRG, which owns and operates the Burger King location along with a thousand of other restaurants and Popeyes franchise, they issued an apology. In a statement, CRG says, our previous policy of no walk-ups allowed at the drive-thru was changed at the beginning of the COVID-19 crisis. We should allow truck drivers to be served at the drive-thru window and pick pick up one at the door entry. They should have been doing that already. You know what I'm saying? They and and what is the policy of no walk up though? I mean, that's just about every you you can't if you hungry. I can understand if it's like in the middle of the night or something like that. But this is during the day. This is during the day. You know, the dude walked up there. Yo, can I get a hamburger to go? I'm right here. One dollar. Let me go. I'm starving. Whatever. Man, I I don't know. I don't know. But uh, I'll link that to the uh, to that to the description below. You guys can go and check out that video and put, you know, put your thoughts or what would you think? What how would you would have handled that? How would you would have handled it? Probably different, I guess. But now that the COVID-19 thing is is a thing now, you know, everybody has changed their policies on how the how they service food either through the drive through or in the or in the lobby or however it is it's it's all change i told you this is a new normal y'all i told you that this was a new normal and burger king has apologized but what they should have did they should have sought out this young man and said hey here's here's a, a meal on us that's what they should have did now, of course, I sought out, uh, what's his name? Uh, I sought out Chris, and I reached out to him to uh, bring him on the podcast so he can uh, talk about his ordeal. And I will be having that for you guys soon, hopefully. I can't give you a date, don't know when, but when, whenever he's ready to talk, I'm ready to listen. So stay tuned for that. All right. So in other news, in other news, this is not trucking related, 
It's a woman robbed by. This is not trucking related, but in this particular news, if you're going to do something like rob a delivery driver, a pizza delivery driver, don't come on uh, social media and brag about it. You don't do that. This is one stupid criminal. Let's uh, let's go to the let's go to Eleven Alive for the report. Three teenagers in Fulton County tells Eleven Alive she could not believe how young her assailants were. Very young there, and all three were finally sentenced this week. Eleven Alive's Doug Richards has more. Felicia Evans says she was victimized in this neighborhood in a scheme that was both elaborate and, she says, so low stakes that it would have been laughable except for the robbery at gunpoint. It was just a way of making a little more income. Evans says she'd been delivering pizzas for a local franchise. Papa John's, all came in July 2017 with an order for an address on Buckhurst Trail. She drove up. You know, they tell you to trust your instincts. And saw that the home appeared to be unoccupied. And that day I didn't. Yet she says she saw two boys, one outside, who claimed the pizza delivery. And once he went inside, that's when the person that was outside came up behind me with the gun and started demanding my possessions. Evans says she had a phone, a few dollars cash, and a pizza. Now, they, they stole all three of them. They stole the phone, they stole the cash, and they stole her car. They drove her car uh, a few blocks down where the police saw it. But, but check out in this next segment right here what ding-dongs do. Look very young. Then police found this video where one of the teens bragged about what they'd done. When I did him like that, he was like, man, f it, y'all. You can have the piece of I said, f that. I want the money in your car. Dequandre Weaver was 14 when this video was shot. This week, a judge sentenced Weaver to serve 20 years in prison for a list of felonies. Investigators said he and a teenage accomplice robbed and shot another pizza delivery driver the day before they robbed Evans. Now, this dude, this ding dong right here, this dude, this, this nut, 14 years old, on, on her phone, talking smack on social media. <laughs> Who does that, man? Now, if I was to play this video, somebody out there probably would be in there being the tizzy over here talking about, oh, that's offensive because he got a gun in the video. And, of course, I would have been flat for it. And, of course, YouTube would have probably gave me a strike. So that's why, you guys, I rarely play videos in the thing but i am going to play one video because this video needs to be played because it was an awesome thing to do but back on to this guy right here who does that who does that dumbass criminals young dumb criminals so of course he got charged with a multitude of charges and he probably gonna be in a in a in a D uh, in the DH until he's 18, and then he's probably gonna go to adult jail for maybe a couple of couple of other years. Let's just hope that his dumbass learned a pivotal lesson, if not two. Number one, if you're gonna do dirt and if you're gonna do crime, you might not want to blast it on social media. That's you know, and that's something to think about for everything else, too. Guys, too much information is on social media. That's why I cut back on a lot of information that, you know, that I put out there now. I'm just saying. Just saying. Just watch yourself when it comes to social media. Shh. Don't do it. Anyway, next, man, look. Look at here. Look at here. This guy, now this this video right here that I'm that I am going to play because it it was an awesome video, and my man D Nitty 
who always give me stuff to talk about. Like, yo, lock out me. Yo, I got this right here. You should talk about it. You should talk about this. You should talk about that. It, he sent me a lot of videos, some of which I can't talk about, like the, like, some of which I can't show, like the one where the cop got, you know, got blindsided by the by the dude when they was uh, when they was trying to arrest another guy. That's a funny video. Y'all should check that out. But uh, this video right here, look at here, man. This dude. Now they they down talking him in the comments though, and and that shit crazy. They down talking him in the comments about what he did. But this man came out the goodness of his heart to bless these five people at the fat at the fast food restaurant. Check out what he did. Uh, hold on real quick. Like five of us in here right now. This is Checkers, right? Yeah. I have a question. How much you make an hour? How much you make an hour? Yeah. So I have an 11. All right. Can you bring everybody here? I just want to give you guys something. Kawanda, change your skirt. Huh? Come here real quick. They, they think of this dude. They think of this dude crazy. How much you guys make an hour? 11. You guys struggling? Huh? All right. I just want to bless you guys. I want to give you guys something. I know you guys work hard. I know you guys are strong. Can, no, can you guys just come closer? Oh, shit. This is, I swear to God. This Damn. Thank you so much. That 10,000 is for you. I swear to God. Oh my God, yo! That's ten thousand oh for you. Thank you. <laughs> yo, high five, yo! Thank you. <laughs> yo, my wife, I'm full of fuck out. Thank you. Ten thousand. Where's your other? Who's the other oh. one? That's you. Yeah. yeah. That's ten thousand. That's love, man. Yeah. Yeah. Bro. That's so love. Yeah. That's love, bro. That's ten thousand me. Thank you, man. Thank you. Man, what man. you guys oh. think of that right there, man? Wait, what you guys think Thank of that? You, my love, love. Take care, guys. Man, oh man. Man, oh man. Mm, that's out the goodness of this dude's heart. Now, I gotta I look. I I gotta I gotta mention the I, I gotta mention the, the negativity here in, in the comment session. And uh, and it's crazy how they going to how they going to uh, how they going to uh, let me see the comments. It's crazy how they going to come at this guy and say what they said. This dude says, "Sick of this. Just be a good person." He starts by degrading him. How much money? you make an hour and then he flaunts 50 g's by the next 50 grand worth of kids meals now he said by the next 50 grand worth of kids meals if you wanted to make a difference oh he, no 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 he said buy the next 50 grand worth of kids meal if you wanted to make a difference and leave the camera at home now, come on, why, why would you these keyboard, these keyboard cowboys, man. Y'all can't just, just, just be happy for what the man did. And why buy fifty grand worth of uh worth of kids meals for? Who the hell are you gonna give it to? He went over there. He asked him. He asked him a question, and he blessed them with ten grand each. Now come on, man. You you just mad because he you just mad because you wasn't there and you didn't get blessed. That's why. That's why. But me, I, look, I'm happy for the guy for what he did. I'm happy for the workers that that he blessed because blessings happens to those who give it. Obviously, he must have paid it. He played it for it. Somebody must have blessed him. So he went out to bless somebody else with 10 G's. Your blessings is coming. Your blessings is coming. Trust me. Trust me. I know my blessings is here. I am blessed every day. You know what I'm saying? And it feels good to be blessed. 
Come on, man. Just be just be happy for the brother or the uh, or the brothers and sisters and the brother that that blessed them with 10 G's, man. Don't don't be a hater. Don't hate. Congratulate. Congratulate. Well, that's it, y'all. That's it for this evening's podcast. I am glad that you guys is is here chilling with me and everything. But um, yo, if you guys like content like this, don't forget to like, subscribe, comment, share. Definitely share. You know what you guys could do for me? You could share the video. That would that in all honesty, that what helps the channel by you sharing in youtube by you sharing in instagram by you sharing in facebook all i'm I'm sending out a shout out to all my subscribers to at least share one of one of these videos because somebody may need to hear it maybe somebody like it however you know what i'm saying shout out to everybody out there that's watching shout out to my girl pinky my condolences goes out to you, baby girl. Everything's going to be all right. Stay strong. And as soon as everything gets back, you know, come back on. And, and, and you know her, her light is shining on you. Her light is shining on you. And I am glad that you was able to make it up there to take care of her final expenses. And if everybody don't know what I'm talking about, condolences to pinky keeping it 100 her mother has went home and um and she's uh she's taking care of that and you know give you know send condolences to her you know and give her time to come back because it's gonna it's gonna take a little bit all right all right so you guys you guys like it you guys love it yo hit me up in the comments below if you want to get at me or you got something that you want me to talk about, send it to lockoutmanpodcast at gmail.com or come over to Instagram and holler at me over there. Until next time, y'all, we are gone.